Okay, this last month we took in 67 dogs. We returned three to owners. Eight were adopted as a regular adoption. Four went to the grant funded adoption. We sent 69 dogs and puppies to rescue. We didn't euthanize any. We had none die of natural causes and no quarantines. Cats, we took in 11, adopted out 15, sent five to rescue. Two died of natural causes, and I euthanized one for illness. At the end of the month, we had 34 dogs and 19 cats. Uh, nine of those cat adoptions were fee waived at $10 a piece, so that was $90, but, we, but at least that's nine cats we don't have there any longer. Um, I responded to 36 calls. We received $10 in fees for rabies to be given at the vet's office. I took in $860 in adoption fees, so total receipts was $870. That's all I got. Most of the kittens that were adopted, well, they, they were already They, they were, were already were fixed, fixed. Okay. yes, and they were actually spayed and neutered out at Paul's Clinic at no cost to us. Well, so we got 34 dogs. How many dogs would that would hold on at one time? Without what we crowd at the dogs, we got 34 down that man. Well, 34 dogs that, I mean, I have 15 full-size kennels. Right. And you can put two or three dogs per kennel, depending on the size of the dog. But some of those are little bitty puppies that you can get five or six to a crate. It doesn't, you know, it's not, it's, that doesn't always mean it's a full-size adult dog. Okay. Thirty-four is the population of today. No, that was the population of. Okay, so it's less than that now. Well, <laughs> Saturday, no, Friday evening we sent twenty-one dogs, no, twenty dogs, um, from the shelter to Ohio. Uh, but since then, I've probably taken in fifteen. So you had thirty-four, and then minus twenty, and then plus fifteen. $29. Somewhere around there, yes. Right. And six of those are newborn puppies, and uh, eight of the eight more are about eight week old, eight eight week old puppies eight that we took in today. Eight more of them. Are, right. Yes, eight weeks old. Either the owner surrender, or they just brought them in. Their owner surrenders. Well, the, the mama and the six newborn puppies, they were actually born in somebody's backyard. He said it was a stray dog, and he was afraid the puppies would freeze to death tonight, so I went and picked them up. Did you bring the mama, too? Yes. Good. The, mama's great. The, uh, the border collie puppies, the eight that are eight weeks old, they were actually taking the mama to be spayed.
civil report today when you get through asking questions. All right. We talked last meeting about the uh, possibility of looking at changing the name and adding adoption to it. Right. Well, we're not in adoption. We're not in risk. We're not in adoption. We're going to stick strictly. We're going to stick strictly what the policy say. One kind of animal control. That's what we are. Not in an adoption. Not risk. Even though we're 83 percent adoption, we ain't supposed to be in adoption business at all. Really, we're yeah. supposed to be in animal control. That's something y'all went around the block and took up on yourself. They come to the committee. They come to the full court. Y'all did it on y'all. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Y'all went around the thing with the adoption and all that stuff. So you're saying that by According to the way I'm taking it, I may be wrong. You're saying that we should have just been putting animals down all this time. Well, we in read, read your book. What do your book say? Animal control. That's all I'm saying. Read your book. Have you got one in? We, yes, we are We are controlling the animals, but we're also controlling them by adoption, by a larger amount. I'm just saying what the book say, the policy. You know, it's just like in the rescue. This had never been passed in the full court. Have it. I still don't know what you mean, had been passed in the full court. We, we are doing what we're supposed to be. Our yeah. animal control, we are. Yeah, I mean, we're but adopting. If you change the name, it's going to go through this committee, through the policy and personnel, and through the full court. I understand that. That's what I was wanting to do, was start it here. You know, if, if it passed, if it votes. Well, I don't know. That's make what a I was, motion. Make a motion. All right. I make a motion that we change the name, that you know, to the Animal Control Facility, to the Warren County Animal Control and Adoption Facility. No, in favor. Bro, yeah. Ain't got to say a second for me. Motion failed. Like it to second. All right, the next thing I was going to talk about, and I, somebody may have already looked at this, was the, we had talked last time also about the potential for the Circle Drive to help with the parking situation. Have you got the money? I don't know. I think well, we're not taking it out of this budget. I think. I mean, you I don't have the money in your budget to do the Circle Drive down there. Wait, want to come up that hill? Well, it'd probably be better, safer to go down. Through the first entrance and go around, and, and I know I'm on the highway bridge. Levy had said that they would help when we first discussed it. I don't know how much, but they said they would do as much as they could. Need to close it. I mean, they can come down there and turn the dog in, but if they ain't going to be down in there, 
Well, I mean, that's all anybody is. I mean, unless they've already been up there and signed a waiver. I mean, they come down and adopt an animal, and they but they if look they around. They're going to be handling the animals, then they need to come sign a waiver. What are you saying? He ain't talking about if the person come down to adopt a dog like that. Yes, he is. No, no, I'm talking no. about if you're going to handle that animal correct. down there like y'all are doing. We've got that. That was passed through uh, this committee and policy and personnel. That's why I was telling you, all your volunteers have got to sign. And yeah, all my volunteers yeah. have signed. Yeah, if you're gonna, if you're gonna I, sign. I was talking about people coming to adopt animals. Well, if you're down there handling animals, you got citizens down there, they need, like if y'all are down there working, y'all come down there all the time, and then you need to come up and sign a waiver. Okay. And you can't have the person that's going to be adopting or whoever's getting it. No, they don't have to sign. People that you got in there taking the animals out, they need to sign it. Because that's the reason we had to get the tetanus shot. Right. Um, I mean, I understand that. I mean, those three tetanus shots that she has got a booster was 24 hundred bucks. Does that include commissioners also? Yeah, they're going to be down there handling the animals in heaven, yes. Okay, if you're, if you're, or if you're down there working on the grounds. Not working on the grounds, but if you're down there handling Exposed to the animals. So, uh, Chairman Martin, what are your proposals to make the public aware of, of this? Because I've never heard about this. I'm, I'm a fairly new county commissioner and, and no, just well, a citizen. What are your Sign a waiver to relieve? Yeah, because it's that's always been in policy. No, I'm saying how, as, as the chairman of the. That's her uh, job. If you got a dog that you want to turn in, you don't have to just bring it down there. But what I'm saying is I don't think the general public understands that. You just can't go down there and work without the same Oh, I don't work down there, sir. Well, that's I what I'm saying. Down there. That's, that's what I'm saying. Just the workers. Anybody that wants to volunteer down there and calls and asks to volunteer, I tell them first they have to go to the county executive's office and fill out. Okay. And we're going to so, make sure yeah. they got the shots they need. Okay. And I may have signed that. But no, you're not, not on it. We're going to make sure they got take the shots and all that. That's what we're doing. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I, as a citizen, I never even knew that. Yeah, I don't think the general public. If they get bit by yeah. rabbit dog or cat, yeah. they bring it. Okay, now we know that. What about the citizens that are bringing their dogs down there and they back into somebody or they into our truck? Is it on their insurance or is it on the truck? Yeah, it's on theirs. Just like a real thing. Okay. Yeah. Traffic. 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 Violation. Back in there. Call the but you've also got that road that goes on past the animal shelter that goes down there, and you can turn around down there, and as long as you park to where the, the city can get down through there, I don't think there's going to ever be a problem. And, and people, they can, they can park on that road there, just like I did at that meeting. Yeah. <clears throat> and, um, what we might be able to do is put some steps for you, let you park up there on top. And, and I have even suggested that to, to that, you know, for us workers that we could park up there, except when we need to unload an animal or something, um, and have stairs down there. I mean, that would solve a lot of. That's if we can handle that. That's yeah, right. I looked at the minutes, and that has been brought up. Go ahead. I'll just make sure any citizen that goes down there not to turn a dog in or an animal, but any citizen that goes down there to a dog needs to stop by the administrative building no, first. No. Now, they're going to go down there and handle They're probably going to pet them. Well, they can't pet an animal. They can go down there and adopt, but they can't pet before they adopt. She knows what what is, and uh, I don't know how y'all adopt, and how you, that, that, how that goes, how they do it. Well, a person person can't come say, I want to adopt this dog and just take, expect it to be a perfectly good dog that's going to fit with their family without having some kind of interaction. And right now, the only place I have for them to interact with that dog is in my office. And we go in there, and the, the people are in there, and sometimes they bring their children, sometimes they bring their other pets to see if all that they will all get along. And, I mean, that only makes sense because you can't just send a dog no. home to know that it's... We want those people that's going to be a handling dogs or cats to sign that way. Now, when I say handling, I'm talking about coming down there and working an hour or so. Oh, I'm okay. Gonna, if I'm going to adopt, I'm going to sit around there and watch it and look at it. 
that's no problem. But if you're going to be in there working, you, you can right, go around the dogs. I understand that. And, and anybody that comes down there to work does sign a waiver. That's right. Do the people adopt and need, do we need to put that in the paper that the people that plan to go down there and, and spend time with an animal to see if they want to adopt? Do they we need to have they that vote? They don't have to do that. They don't have to have a shot or, or they don't have to have, they don't have to sign a waiver. If just they're just going down there to, to adopt or volunteers and go to work, then they've gotcha. got to come up and sign that way. Yeah. I mean, that's been forever. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Like I said, just as a citizen, I, I, and a new county Well, you and I went over there. what we got about five is all we've got to sign the waiver. Right. And so be sure to tell Miss Sailors, too, if she's back down right. there, if she, if she comes down there and then sign the waiver. Yeah, I certainly will. Yeah, I remember when we've done that. Volunteers, but I never counted myself as a volunteer since I was on the committee. But, right. yeah. Well, you, you're a volunteer, though, if you're down there handling it. Yeah, I'm just, should you have some signage? Should there be a sign on that building pursuant to the she, policy? She needs to tell them. She needs to tell them. She knows about it. Yeah, and, and I mean, the general public just coming down there to look does not have to. I mean, they they can come in and visit with a dog or get to know a dog, and they don't have to sign it because they're there to adopt. But anybody coming down there to work, to volunteer, to help out should sign the waiver. They've got to sign it. got to sign the waiver. You've got them there in office. I do not. They have no, to go to the county executive's there. office and sign it. Have them notarized. Okay. Well, then I guess what we spoke about this today is we'll definitely have to wait about that as far as the potential pet day that I was wanting to do because that's it. well that's what I'm wondering because the people will be interacting with the animals if we did that. Well they can interact with the animals. I well, we've done I mean we've done that for Yeah, we do that. I'm talking about down there. Yeah. On the premises. Right. Yeah. All right. But don't you know which dog is? Yeah. Is this you're gonna take Well I'm not gonna take a dog out that's gonna bite no. right you know that. You know that should be no problem. You know, you know if I get around that dog that is vicious or want something sick. Or anything, something. anything that comes in there that I think may have the potential to bite somebody, there's a sign on the gate. Okay. Don't get close to it. Okay. That's the only other thing I was going to bring up, and, and we've got to wait uh, to find out for sure if we can do it. Is I'm, I've already, uh, I already got a okay from a, 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 t a temporary okay from Jimmy Haley to have like a pet date. We do a thing all day over in Front Park, and we we might be able to bring our animals out that are for adoption. Some of them, and then the city will bring some out, and then we'll talk about spay and neutering. Uh, you know, I, I'd be great if we get some some vets there to do rabies shots, and do something like that, just to raise awareness about our spay and neutering policy, and tie it in with a, a, a 5K run I do as well. You know, make it an all-day thing. <coughs> will be encouraged to walk their pets. And that's a riverfront park. Yeah, but it's we're we're just talking about it at this point. Any more questions? Motion to accept the report. I make a motion to accept the report. Yes, second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed for Fox. You can go out that door if you would like. Okay. There. <coughs> Attached to the service reports for Warren County for January of this year, we provided 2,335 visits to 2,045 clients. We also gave 287 immunizations and one TB skin test. We do, we are offering the flu vaccine free as of today. If you know anybody that hasn't gotten their vaccine, they can come in. We won't file insurance or anything, we're just for free. So, if you know anybody that hasn't gotten one, please send them. They can walk in anytime. We do also have, and we've had these for a while, two vacancies, um, bilingual Spanish interpreters. They do need to have a medical background and computer experience, but we have we placed ads in the paper. Sorry. <laughs> Spanish interpreter. I could get some of that. Short notice. Okay. You need two bilingual interpreters. Okay. With the medical back. background and computer experience. Have you talked to Mayor Haley about that? No, 
I've just been putting it in the newspaper. He has got, he has got a lot of access to uh, young people out there that's okay, okay. bilingual. Okay. We, um, we've tested three in the past little bit, and they all three failed the medical portion. So, obviously, we can't hire them until they pass So, up. they'll have to have medical experience. Or they're going to have to know the lingo, you know, the language, as far as, that's what. Is there any kind of books or anything they can read? Um, that Foreign Get Language Institute, the Tennessee Foreign Language Institute, you can go on there, and there are resources on that website. But um, as far as us providing books or anything, we don't do that. And that's all of my reports. If I got any questions, the, the new disease they've been talking about it's transmitted by the mosquitoes have y'all got any emails or updates or anything on that um we we do get updates at least once a week um hasn't been a concern in this area yet so no, if it's snowing like it is i don't i don't <laughs> like we'll have the, problem right the biggest now, concern obviously is for pregnant pregnant women um, because of the baby the fetus so but not not a big concern right now here right hope it's not more question motion separate report. I make that motion. Play the second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, you Steve.
motion to set the report. I'll make a motion. Give me a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you.